Hello guys, this is part number six of Kibi map view. And last time we stopped here, so we were able to uh, to place a pin, then request directions, and also print or display some some uh, marker pop-ups into the map. Okay, and uh, we need to get rid of this black pins and get some line okay or some lines so to draw those lines we need to draw a line between each two points and how to do that is that we're going to get we're going to grab the position of each pin it, let's say that we want to draw we want to draw a line between this point and this point to do this we have to get the position of this pin let's say this pin has two axes okay it has a width and it has a height let's say uh, an x axis and a y axis okay so we have to be able to get the x and y of this position and the x and y of this position then draw a line okay and let's first get rid of this source.png okay so we're gonna display them as something is called waypoints okay it's a file that I have already uh, I've already pasted into the project. You can see you can see this small one pixel uh, all alpha image. Okay, so it's gonna be all invisible if you if we rerun it again and let's say we place a pin in here, you can see that the pins are placed but they are not visible to us. Okay and the reason why we're gonna need this we're gonna do we're gonna need to display some pins it's because when we move the map the position of the pin changes on the screen but the position of the pin doesn't change on the map view so we have to get its position according to the map view not to the screen so let's uh, let's just try to to type something that then things are going to be more clear okay so how to do that we're going to first create a list which is called let's say self dot root points okay then we're going to append all the points okay to be able to grab their position the position of each point or each two points accordingly so points okay and in him in here we have to initiate the list okay so let's say with points is an empty list okay we come down here and we have to draw something to draw something in the in the app with the with Python we have to do this so with self canvas then we have to choose a color maybe okay then we let's say it's uh mostly red so half red okay so it can be visible then one or oh then oh then the opacity is let's say one for the moment okay then we have to loop over our uh, loop over this list okay then check then get the position between every two points then draw a line because a line needs two points like a and b so for this we have to do a for loop maybe for g in range let's say it starts from o then the length of our list if it's a uh, self dot root points then we have to do this minus one okay then the step is one okay and then let's say self dot lines is equal to line then points and now we have to pass in two points okay one has an index of g and the other has the, the index of g plus one okay so let's say self dot root points of g then we pass in the position on the x 
um, the x axis, the width, then the save weight. We copy this, we paste it here, and we pass in one. And then let's just e passed, but for the index, it's g plus one. Okay, and the same in here for one, and also g plus one. And we have to pass in a width. Okay, so width is let's say equals to maybe four. So now let's see how this works, then discuss what we're gonna do. You can see that now we are able to draw a line. But if I move the map, the line is gonna move. Okay, so we have to update the position of of each of those lines according to the position of each pin that the, the, which is invisible okay and to do that we need to create a list and append all those lines to it let's call it list of lines list of lines then append self dot lines and also we have to initiate it at the end okay because we're going to use the clock to update it so i think list of lines yeah let us just go down and uh simply simply let's simply let's create let's uh define an update function okay update let's say read lines and it takes cell and arcs of course okay and in here we have to loop we have to loop through this okay then update this list we have to loop through the first list but update the second list accordingly so for this we have to do this for g in the range then we have to start from one from the first from the first point okay then let's say length of self dot root points then we have to go to one we don't need the minus one in here okay then this then what we're going to update we're going to update the self dot the self dot lines okay that which are in the list okay so self dot list of lines then let's say it is the g minus one okay because we're using the index according to this list okay then let's say points this way because we are updating these points okay and those points are going to be updated this way so self dot root points then g minus one then position o okay then this one then one okay this is for the first point for the second point we have to pass in pass in this but the posit but the index is g and position is o and also let's pass in this and get rid of this index to set it as g and one and uh, to uh, to, t to tell you something uh, the width is going to be the same you cannot change it one once it's uh, it's already inside the canvas neither you can change the color okay let's see how this works but first we have to go to the init and define the clock let's say that clock dot schedule uh, let's say interval and then pass in the function the name of the function self update root lines and let's say once per let's say 30 times per second okay and now let's see how this works but uh, first we have to initiate it not here but after that we have created the lists 
Okay. Let's say in here. Okay, and let's see how this works. And if it doesn't, or it does. Let's hope it works. Okay, let me just change. Okay, you can see that it's changing, but there is something wrong in here. Okay, let's check what it is. We're drawing, we're drawing two lines, I guess. Yeah, of course. Because in here, we're still inside this, uh, we're still inside this loop. So we have to do this. And see how it is going to be working for us. Okay, you can see that when we move the map, the lines are going to be updated. Let's change the rate of the update, maybe. Let's say that, uh, not 130, but let's say maybe 150, to be slightly unnoticeable or unnoticeable. Okay, it is working as you can see. So in the next video, we're going to talk more about this and see what's missing i hope you enjoyed the video and you can uh, subscribe to my channel if you are not